What is going on everybody? This is David here from Blucher's Videos and Collectibles and today I got a brand new video for you guys and today will not be a toy review but this is going to be a collection update of one of my favorite franchises of all time. Um, not movie of all time but one of my favorite franchises of all time and for those who don't know I am a huge Star Wars fan. Uh, I may not always show it or, or talk about it as much but for those who know me personally, um, know that I do collect Star Wars three and three quarter figures, and that's been going back since The Force Awakens uh, came out. I have the entire line of that as far as three and three quarters goes. Um, I have all the single carter figures, have all the two packs, and all that fun stuff that goes along with it. I don't have any of the vehicles, but I do have all the uh, um, single carter three and three quarters, like I mentioned, and all the two packs. All the battle armor up stuff and all all, all that that comes with all that uh, that's three and three quarters aside the vehicles I do have that whole collection and I'm very proud of that collection except for also I don't have uh, the exclusives I also have a uh, pretty much majority of the Rogue One collection um, I'm missing maybe four items out of that and I pretty much almost completed uh, the Last Jedi collection. I have, I'm only missing maybe uh, four items out of that one too as well. But uh, aside from that, um, I am currently collecting the Solo collection three and three quarter line as well, and um, <clears throat> really excited about it because uh, I really did enjoy Solo, um, uh, Star Wars story movie, and I enjoyed it more than I thought I did. And um, I know a lot of people didn't. Uh, enjoy that movie a lot and some people thought it was okay and uh, some people loved it but uh, I thought it was really good and entertaining for what it was <clears throat> I, I didn't feel like we had to have one but I'm glad we got it you know because it's something different and to me it did feel like a, a, a Star Wars movie in my opinion um, I know some people might beg to differ but that's okay you know that we're all entitled to our opinions and um, in the comments down below, let me know what you thought of the movie, if you've seen it already, and, and uh, what you didn't like, or what you liked about it, and so forth. But anyways, um, enough about the movie. Um, let's get on with this. The toys, <clears throat> that's what we're here for. But um, I've been slowly but surely collecting the, the solo figures, and um, I know some of them that have came out already are, are repacks. I haven't gotten those yet. Um, I probably won't. It all depends on. Um, there's some things that I hadn't picked up yet, especially when it comes to Wave One, because usually when Wave One comes out, they put it all out there, and majority of it peg ones, you know. And um, usually, the Wave Two and Wave Three, and after that, those are the ones you want to grab ASAP because those are are not as mass produced as uh, wave one and um, so I always try to snatch up all those because I know uh, wave one they usually peg one at Walmart and at Target and pretty soon they're gonna have their little sale when it from seven dollars it goes down to like five bucks you know and stuff like that so uh, that's why I, you won't see all a lot of those uh, wave one figures because you know those are peg warmers to me and when they go on sale, when they have those rollback prices at Walmart, that's when I'll pick them up, you know. So, anyways, um, <clears throat> so to start off is uh, Wave 1. And um, the ones I don't have that I will wait till they go on sale is the uh, KRS-1 or K not KRS-1. What the hell? <laughs> um, the robot from Row 1. <laughs> um, KSO or KRSO, whatever his name is. But, anyways, uh, KRS1. Why am I thinking about the rapper? But, uh, anyways, um, I do have his Rogue One figure. And, um, but the single card one that came out for the solo wave is, um, it comes with a pistol. So I'll probably end up getting that. And the same thing for Maz Kanata. Uh, I want to get her because she comes with the a rocket backpack, but I do have her other figure that came with the uh, the Force Awakens. Um, uh, what was it? I can't remember what pack 
but it was like a like a four pack with uh, Ray and um, uh, a trooper and Finn and uh, so but this one's different I, don't, I just want to get it because she has a different as assortment or an, an accessory should I say so <clears throat> as far as the loot goes I'll probably skip out on that one because it's the exact same figure as the uh, uh, one that was for the last Jedi and the only reason why they re repacked him was because of the 2.0 force link um, I currently don't have the actual 2.0 force link but I do want to get it because I want that solo the Han Solo figure that comes with it but um but other than that, uh, the ones that you see in front of you are the ones that I have uh, currently from uh, Wave 1. And the first one up we have is Chewbacca. And uh, the only thing that I wish that he came with was his goggles. But I know that the new playset that um, was released that's a Target exclusive that I would love to pick up eventually um, comes with the goggles. And <clears throat> the next one up is the Queen of Dragons herself, Corellia. <laughs> uh, uh, I hope I pronounced her right. And uh, so needed to have her in my collection. Doesn't really look like her. The figure standpoint doesn't compared to the artwork. The artwork looks way better than the figure, but I'm happy to have her in my collection. Something different. And I have the Range Trooper. Really like this figure. I think this is a very neat figure, very cool. And um, just I just love the, the concept of it, you know. And this one is probably the most difficult one from Wave 1, the <clears throat> Minban Trooper, Storm Trooper. And I think, from my understanding, this came like one per case, I think. But, uh, but yeah, I'm lucky to have her. I, I have her. <laughs> I'm lucky to have it. Um, this was probably my first one that I bought because I, when I saw it, this is the one that I had to pick up because I knew how uh, the rarity of it. I don't know about now because I haven't really looked for it. But I, I know that I've seen it a few times after I bought this one. Should have bought a couple more, but I didn't. But oh well. Um, I'm not really going to try to army build these. But the simple fact that one, you know, it's a cool trooper. And two, you know, it, it would be a good uh, thing to army build. But I'm just glad that I have it. Because, you know, because like I said, it was like one per case. So when I first saw this was the first uh, solo figure that I did buy. So that is it from uh, Wave 1. So let's go ahead and check out Wave 2. Alright, we have Wave 2 up next for the single card uh, figures. And... Um, I'm glad that some of these were released because some of them were much needed needed for an upgrade. And um, first up we have is uh, Kylo Ren. I'm a big Kylo Ren fan, so I pretty much got all his figures, whether it's a repack or not. <laughs> you know, just that's just how I am. You're a fan of something, you want to get all of it. So very happy to have this, and glad to have a new character in my collection, uh, uh, Moloch. And this is a very unique character, you know, I really like this character in the film. Um, the neat thing about him, you know, even though he is, uh, the only articulation he has is really in his arms, and his mask does come off. So, very cool of that. And I'm very glad that I got this um, when... Wave, uh, Wave 2 was released. This was the first figure. Fi <laughs> this was the first figure out of Wave 2 that I picked up because I knew the other ones, they would, they would go, but this one would be the first one. One, because this is a more popular character, and this was one that a lot of people wanted an upgrade from the previous ones, from my understanding, from what I read and from different other videos that I've watched. Um, review.
reviews on here. But anyways, very happy to have a, a, a Hoth Leia. So. <clears throat> then next is uh, Supreme Leader Snoke. Um, I know at one time for the Last Jedi uh, playset, this was the exclusive. It was like the only way you can get it. And um, I, I do want that play set eventually. I know that I'll find it cheap eventually. Uh, I missed out on, on it, to, uh, Toys R Us when they had their uh, liquidation sale and stuff. Missed out on that. And then I did see it a couple times at one of my Walmarts that I stopped by. And they had that for like 50 bucks. I had two of them. And by the time I could go back to get it, they were both gone. And then I did see it on Amazon. Uh, they had it a uh, Amazon Prime sale where it was for 50 bucks and by the time I wanted to get that that was gone so yeah <laughs> but I think at that time that was when I was doing all my Jurassic Park purchasing so oh well so that's it that's all of uh, Wave uh, 2 that's the only those, they only had four single card figures for Wave 2 so let's go ahead and move on to wave three. All right, here in front of you is wave three now. That just came out. I'm, I'm only missing one, and for the simple fact that at the time I, I, I didn't get a chance to pick him up, and that's Darth Vader, and he's one of the four uh, that came out in wave three. And so, but I had a choice between. Uh, <clears throat> These two right here, um, I accidentally picked her up. Um, I was going to skip out on her, but I, because I, I think I picked her up because I mistakenly thought that she came with something different. But by the time I got her and then I got home and checked her out, that I had her in the uh, my Last Jedi collection. And the exact same thing, the exact same accessories. I don't know why, I, I just thought... Right here for Ray that uh, this was new, but she had it in the Last Jedi as well. So, uh, oh well. Anyways, so but well, I'm glad I still have it. <clears throat> but yeah, it was Darth Vader. So I could have had Vader instead of Ray, but it is what it is. Um, I'll go back and get Darth Vader here at, at another time. Um, but yes, so. Very happy to pick up this stormtrooper, this first order stormtrooper. Um, I had to double check to make sure it wasn't a repack for from the Force Awakens, and I don't think it's a repack from or not the Force Awakens. Um, the uh, Last Jedi. It's a different trooper. Uh, the one from the Last Jedi. That's the one I'm missing <clears throat> from that set. Is a, a stormtrooper, first order stormtrooper, and now he's pretty expensive to get so I'm kicking myself in the head that I didn't pick him up for my last Jedi collection but um, yeah I had to uh, double check to make sure it wasn't the same because sometimes I'm kind of with these repacks like I said like in wave one I don't want to get Luke but I do want to get the other two but so the only thing that's different is that the red patch, uh, patch right here and the uh, this thing here and the weapon because the one in the last Jedi, it's it's just plain, and then it's got a different, uh, bigger gun. So <clears throat> did well on that one. Didn't want to miss out on my stormtroopers. And um, then here we have is uh, Luke Skywalker, and this was the one from uh, the last Jedi uh, Skywalker when he battles uh, Darth Vader. So, I did miss out on the uh, Target exclusive with uh, uh, the Emperor Guard, this figure, and um, Palpatine. And um, <clears throat> missed out on no, that set, and then it went on clearance, and I didn't get a chance. I got to pick that up too because it was like as low as $7. So I missed out on that set because I really wanted that set for Palpatine and the Emperor Guard. And, but I, I knew about the, uh, the the repack of this one that was coming out for the Solo Wave. So I would probably would have gotten that one anyways regardless. But um, 
Yeah, so I'm glad I got it now. So now all I need is the Darth Vader. So to complete this uh, wave three. So now let's go on to the two packs. All right. So what you're looking at, this is the wave two of the two packs. I don't have any of the wave three. Uh, simple because one, all those are, are peg warmers. And I'm waiting for them to go on clearance or, or when they have their rollback prices. Because that's what I did with The Last Jedi for most of uh, all, all their stuff. Was I had, was able to get majority of their figures. Like pretty much 80%, maybe 90% of their figures on clearance for The Last Jedi. Because they were like 3 bucks a piece for the single carded. And like $7 a piece for the two packs. Not saying that the the solo wave is going to go on clearance anytime soon like that, but if it goes down to like ten dollars uh, per two pack, I can do that. You know, it's ten dollars, like five bucks a figure, so no biggie. <clears throat> but yeah, because the uh, wave one of the two packs is a repack of the whole. Uh, um, I can't even remember her name from the last Jedi that the uh, um, Finn's love interest and the BB-8 in the evil droid. That's a, a same thing. It's just an upgrade to the 2.0. Why they chose that set, I don't know. And then the other one is um, Qui-Gon and um, a Darth Maul. I think it's Qui-Gon. Is it Qui-Gon? Too bad? Or is it a... Uh... Shit. I can't even remember. I'm really bad about this. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't think it's Qui-Gon. It's a... Uh... What's his name? Obi-Wan? Is it Obi-Wan and Darth Maul? Or is it Qui-Gon and Darth Maul? I don't know. But I do want that set, though. I do want that set. Um, and then the third one is uh, the Lando and uh, uh, Castle Guard. I know I want that one. I do need that one because I don't have those. Two. So the, uh, the Darth Maul 2-pack and the Lando... Uh, two pack. I do want the other one. Uh, I don't really need because I already have that one for, for the last Jedi wave. So, but anyways, so I was very excited about this when they announced these uh, um, <clears throat> at the uh, to, shit, I can't even think now at Comic Con when they showed these at Comic Con. I was really excited because uh, I didn't know when I was going to be able to get it, if and when. But uh, lo and behold, I was lucky to, to find them at a Walmart, and I snagged them. I had to snag them, <laughs> because if I didn't, somebody else would. So, this is the two-pack of the Rebolt and the Hurlian Guard Hound, and um, really love this thing. And I like the artwork right here. This is really cool. If I can get my hands on the second one of these... That would be epic, because, you know, he did have two of those, so that would be really epic. So, I really like this two-pack. It's probably like my favorite two-pack out of all of them so far. So, <clears throat> really happy about that. Really glad I was able to snag this one. And here we have the Chewbacca, the Mimbane, Chewbacca, and the Mimbane Han Solo. So, if you haven't seen the movie, spoiler alert, um... So, this is when they first meet on Mimbang. So, this is like the, the muddied Chewbacca um, and muddied uh, Solo Han. And love the artwork on it up here as well. So, a very cool set. Really happy about these two sets. Really glad to have them. And so, last but not least, we will do the uh, creature pack. Alright, and here's the last thing of my Solo collection. I know what you're thinking. That's not Solo. That's Last Jedi packaging and so forth. But anyways, um, this is part of the 2.0 Force Link, the new Force Link. And um, this is what was packaged, you know. I think this was a holdover for the Last Jedi. I think it was supposed to be part of the Last Jedi but they just kind of moved it over to the new point 2.0 force link. Um, there's another, there's two more of these and that's the, uh, um, K 
can't even think of her name. Oh, gosh. What was it? I know they did a repack of the Rathtar Baltique set. And um, they also had the... Um, what's that girl's name that has the, the speeder? That... Um, an Emphis Nest. Yes. Shit. <clears throat> but yeah. I, I do want to get the Emphis Nest one. I don't need the Rathtar Baltic set. Because I already have one from the for the Last Jedi set. So I'm good on that one. So I'm very happy to have this one. Uh, this is the uh, uh, Luke Skywalker Hoth with the, the Wampa. So this was one set that I know I was really after. Um, I did have to do a, a, a layaway for this. Uh, and I got this at Target, and I was shocked as hell that I was able to do the layaway because, you know, Target's not very well known as when it comes to stocking a whole lot of stuff where we could hide things. I mean, you could, but you would have to do too much, and I didn't want to have to do too much. But anyways, but yeah, that's this is the only one that I have so far for as far as this uh, creature's assortment set, as they call it. And so I do want to pick up the uh, Emphis Nest set as well. So that way I can um, have her to the collection. <clears throat> so one day, I, well not one day, but hopefully soon I'll be able to uh, open all these up. So um, let's go ahead and uh, wrap these video up. So like I was saying, um, eventually I would like to open all these up and display them. Because I think uh, these would make wonderful display pieces once I'm able to get everything organized the way I want them. Um, but for right now, these are going. These are on my wall. You know, I have them all on my wall. Single card figures on my wall and everything, and um, they look really cool right there. So I'm kind of on the fence on opening these up. I'd like to, but um, more than likely I probably won't just because I I'm a sucker for the uh, mint on card. Uh, Star Wars figures because they're so cool and that they display real well like that and stuff like that. So, but uh, anyways, uh, that is my collection update for my solo collection. And uh, let me know down in the comments below. I said comics in the comments below, and let me know what you think of this collection. And if you have any for your collection, let me know what you have. Uh, what you thought of the movie, what you didn't like about the movie, what you liked about the movie, and uh, if you're going to pick it up when it comes out on Blu-ray and 4K. And uh, also, uh, let me know if you're a Star Wars collector as well, you know. And uh, hopefully I, I'm able to bring a collection update for my Last Jedi, and also a collection update for the Rogue One. Um, I did, <clears throat> excuse me, I do have a collection update for The Force Awakens. I will leave links below for both of those videos because I did a, a two-part series on that. And um, so y'all can check that out if you want to. But uh, anyways, uh, I hope y'all enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. And um, if you're new to the channel, please give this channel a sub, a like, and share the video if you would like to. Um, also... Hit the notification bell so you can receive all my notifications as I upload. And also, words of wisdom, collect what you love, not what you like. Because if you collect what you like, you will always end up getting rid of it. And I will catch you guys later.